doing the magic pillowcase and for this exact one that we're doing we need three pieces of fabric we have our accent fan that is three inches wide we have our cuff which is 10 inches wide and then we have our body of our pillowcase the main seam fabric which is a three-fourths of a yard 27 inches and so we're going to go ahead and get started um, i do need um, a sewing machine pins an iron and um, a cutting mat with a um, rotary cutter and ruler because we want to make sure we get our uh, edges good and straight our three inch piece that's our accent band you do need to um, Press it in half long ways with wrong sides together. So it's going to look just like that. So I'm taking my um, cuff and I'm opening it up and laying it all the way out right side up. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my big accent piece. And I want to make sure if it's directional fabric, it's going the right way. And I'm going to lay that right side up on that as well. And since I don't have a really big table, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of roll it up and work with one side and then the other. So I'm lining up my raw edges at the top all the way down. After that, I'm taking my accent band and I'm doing the fold down and the two raw edges up. That is going to be laid on top of there and you do want to make sure that you're layering these and that they are stacking up on top of each other straight. After I do that all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and roll. So let me open that up a little bit. Can they see me still, Ashley? Sorry, my machine. Take my main body and just roll it up just like that. Now, this is the tricky part. I want to roll it up as far as this accent band and no further. So, Ashley, can they see that really good? Because we want to make sure that we're not getting it up here where we're going to be sewing. So next, what we're going to do is go ahead and take our bottom piece, which is that accent band, and we're going to flip it on over. And then now I have several layers that are all lined up perfectly, and we're going to pin. So we're going to be working with two different seams. We're going to be working with a half an inch seam and a quarter inch seam. The first one that we want to start with is our half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and sew down the side that I just pinned with a half an inch. You don't have to worry about back stitching at this part because um, we're going to be trimming off the sides. Sorry, I have to make sure I get the right foot lifted. So after we sew that first step, this is where I like to tell the kids the magic happens. So the first thing that we want to do though is double check to make sure that we got all our different layers in our seam allowance. So we should have two sides of our cuff, we should have our main body, and then we should have two pieces, two raw edges for that band. So here is the magic. This is a favorite part that I like to do with the kids, is that we are going to turn our tube right sides out. So what I like to do is first kind of tuck it under, and then as we pull our main piece, we're pulling our cuff, just like this. And I hope my dinosaurs are going the right way because it's not how embarrassing. And so now, once we have it pulled right side out, it's starting to look a little bit more like an actual pillowcase. 
So we're going to do some pressing first. The first thing we want to press, let me get me all situated right here, is I'm going to turn it to the back side and push my cuff out to get a good press on this back side. So the next thing I did was turn it over to the front and I'm going to do the same thing and press that band up. Now I'm not getting my accent band, I'm just doing my cuff. So this next part, I will take it to um, the cutting table, but I can show you here at this table first. I had my roundabout to um, do it, but I don't think it's going to be big enough. So what I like to do first is take my pillowcase, I'm going to stand up and do this, and I'm going to kind of fold it in half. Now you'll see that this side right here is really short compared to this side. So I like to fold it and line up my shortest sides together, just like that. And then I want to line up my tops. And the idea that we want to get is a good square pillowcase. So you'll see me kind of brushing it to work its way out. And so I kind of have it even at the top and squared up where both sides are laying flat. And then I just flip it up like this. The next thing I want to do is cut a straight line on the side. And I'm making sure that I have everything lined up. And you're going to want to go to that furthest point in where we're not getting any selvage. So now I have a good straight edge at the side and on the bottom. Now if you're a beginner sewer or you're a perfect sewer or anything like that, you can go ahead and um, pin down the side and down the bottom to keep everything straight. So when we do an original seam, we always like our fabrics right sides together. When we do a French seam, our first seam we're going to do is with the wrong sides together at a quarter of an inch. Then, when we get down doing that, we will flip it right side, I mean, um, wrong side out, and the right sides will be together, and then we'll do a half an inch seam. And when we flip it right back out, it's going to give us a good finished edge, and it's gonna be hiding that raw edge from our seam. So, I already have, I have my half an inch seam allowance right now, that we just did, so I need to change my foot or change my needle over to do a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna sew down the side and I'm gonna sew the bottom. Sew my bottom. So after this step, I am back stitching right there at the end. If um, you're with a new sewist, a new sewer, um, I would definitely trim my edges to make sure it is truly a quarter of an inch away from that stitch line. Um, just because when we go over to that half an inch now, if it's not truly a quarter of an inch and it's more like a half an inch or five eighths of an inch, that this um, raw edge seam will start poking through. So that is very important. So now your project looks like this. It does look like a finished pillowcase. However, we have the raw edges, so we need to finish that out. So we're going to flip the wrong side out. And I have, um, we call this our um, corner poker outer. I have my point to point turner poke out my edge or my corners 
And the next thing that I like to do, and I'll do it very quickly, is I like to walk out my seam and press it so I have a good flat edge to sew against. I have a good pressed edge, and so now I'm going to do my half an inch seam. So I would go ahead again, make sure you back stitch, and that, and we're going to sew all the way down. Okay, and now we're going to have a finished product. So when I fold it right sides out, you can see where it's not showing any raw edge or um, any of my seams. And then on the inside, I have this nice finished seam where there's no raw edges. So that's where my French seam is. So I'm going to pull it out and I will give it a good pressing. And then I have my magic pillowcase. It's really fun to personalize it, use these as bags. I always do um, some uh, uh, Christmas fabric. My favorite is Halloween fabric. We just got some in with uh, that's glow in the dark. I did these for my kids, put their names on it, and they use these when we go on our hayride to go trick or treating. It's their favorite part. And then, of course, the whole uh, month we use it as a pillowcase. So, if you have any questions, guys, just comment, message us, give us a call. We had fun today, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.